Hey YouTube, welcome to episode 7 of my firewood processor build. Uh, the intentions for this episode, I thought it would be the hydraulics part 2. But I realized I still had a lot of work to do. So this one will mainly be the log lift and the wedge uh, to get those cylinders mounted. Uh, in the beginning here, if you remember in the previous video, I had a gap issue with my pulleys. So I got two single pulleys and were able to gap them apart so that the belts would line up with the uh, drive pulley on the engine. Uh, I got, well, maybe not lucky on the belts. I did find a calculator online that you basically put in your pulley sizes and then your center to center and it tells you what belt size you need uh, so the belts worked out I uh, just need to build a tension for them uh, the drive pulley has that plate on the back that has to be holding held in place so I'm just making some brackets basically with two pins so two of the three holes I'll have a pin in to keep the plate from spinning around I'd gotten some of my fittings, the ones I knew for sure. So I think this was a Friday. So I just was doing a couple things here and there, odds and ends. So I put these fittings and my uh, suction line on. I had to take that cap off because of the 90 just to be able to spin that all the way around. my return fitting into the filter uh, that was a 90 as well so I ended up having to pull the filter housing out uh, so all my fittings that would have any pressure I used uh, an anaerobic sealer on the threads uh, once I run out of the anaerobic I have uh, another sealer that's a liquid that's made for hydraulics, which I'm assuming is probably an anaerobic sealer as well. Uh, the pieces for the log lift, these are actually two ladders off the crane that the tank came off of. Uh, I kind of procrastinated a while on this trying to figure out what I was going to do for the log lift. Uh, ended up checking these ladders out and decided they would work. Uh, I tried to offset hole or offset a hole with the hole saw and that wasn't working so end up having to grind them or cut them and then grind them out basically the those pins are leftover pieces of uh, one and three quarter axle and I'm just going to use those as hinges
I got the bandsaw stuck on my first cut. Uh, the lo the sleeve pieces that the pins go into were, I think, some spacers on that overhead crane. Uh, so basically everything that's red was an overhead crane that I salvaged. Uh, I basically went inside a trailer to load... Uh, it was actually to load elevators, like elevator parts. Uh, for the hinge pieces, I used some 3 16th angle and some flat 3 16ths I had. The, it already had the holes in it, so I just used them for plug welds. I used some half inch schedule 40 for the hinge part. So I just cut like wedges out about halfway down the pipe and then bent the pieces in so that it would uh so it would hinge properly. I basically made it hinge so that uh well, there I realized I didn't make it hinge up far enough, so it's not clearing, like, the width of the tires. Uh, but I made it hinge so that it wouldn't lift the trailer when it's put down, and it also would be less likely to hurt somebody when it comes down, if somebody was actually standing in the way. I'll have to put some gussets. Uh, I made the second one off camera. Just, it was basically the same process. I did cut an angle on this one so that it does come up far enough that uh, it's not sticking way outside the wheel base or wheel width of the trailer. So before I welded that C channel in to weld those <clears throat> those two together, I had to uh, weld my final hinge in because I couldn't take the lifts back off. I made four gussets to go in down around or on the back side, and then. I have to probably do some on the front side since that's where most of the pressure will be when it's lifting. All 
I had to use a piece of all thread to hold the cylinder. Just because I had a long enough half inch bolt. Uh, the brace I just cut out, that was in the way. I don't know that I even needed them to begin with, but I put them in, but... So that one had to be cut out of the way to clear the cylinder. piece I welded in for the bottom end of that cylinder is just floating for right now the end of it so I'll have to weld a brace in there I was really just trying to get everything in place so I could start figuring out all my hoses so that's something I'll have to revisit to finish up This uh, cylinder for the wedge lift is a four inch stroke. I uh, just made a plate for it so that the top part of the cylinder was pretty much even with the beam. Uh, I could have put it up a little higher, but I don't know if it would have gotten in the way, so. Uh, the piece of pipe is just one inch schedule 40 pipe I found laying around. It was a perfect fit for over top of the cylinder. So that pretty much wraps up this one. Uh, the next episode should be part two of the hydraulics. I got everything mounted where I want it. Uh, the hoses are all ordered. Uh, may even fire it up for the first time. I'm not sure if I'll get that far with it, but we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, that way you know when the next episode comes out.